Press statements by His Excellency Chief Lucky Nusahari Igminidio, former governor of Edo State, Oshomoles Dia Tribe. I had for some reasons chosen to ignore the Edo State Governor, Comrade Adam Sushomole, and his tirades at my person, family, and administration as former governor of Edo State. My dignified silence is burned out of respect for the office of a governor which I also had the privilege to occupy for eight years and also the need to allow him concentrate on the business of governors for which he was elected by the good people of the state. But most importantly, I feel joining issues with Oshomole would amount to dignifying him in his outbursts and, and lending credence to his bogus allegations. However, his actions, to say the least, is laughable and utterances over this period portray him as one not deserving of the respect of his office. It is on the strength of this that I reached the conclusion that Governor Oshomole, having lost touch with the people owing to his anti-people policies, is now trying to save his face by whipping up sentiments and chasing shadows. He still has time to retrace and work for the people of Edo State, which he was elected twice as governor to do. His latest allegation, published in virtually all the national dailies and electronic media on Thursday, 5th November 2015, where he alleged through his commissioner for information, Louis Odion, and the commerce and industry counterparts, Abdul Oro, that my administration siphoned $31 million from the state coffers to say the least is laughable. While I view all this as the antics of a drowning man, I wish to ask Governor Oshomole why it took his government over seven years to uncover a fraud of this magnitude. Could it be that he has been in slumber all this while and has just woken up? Nigerians know Oshomole and Edo people know him even better, including his antics of trying people on the pages of newspaper by alleging that my administration stole $31 million from Edo state government to establish a cement factory called Avran Cement Company. Oshomole, through his commissioner for commerce and industry, Abdul Oro, labored to deceive Edo people into believing that I used the state fund to build a cement factory for myself. But his lies cannot go far as the facts speak for themselves. A report on page 13 of Vanguard newspaper edition of November 5 quotes Oshomole's commissioner for commerce and industry, Abdul Oro, as saying, the $31 million which was stolen for the transaction was designed clearly for criminal purposes. This project was called Avran Cement Company, situated at Ekbe, near Ikbeshi, in Akokoedo local government area. The company was supposed to produce cement to take advantage of the large-scale deposit of limestone in that part of the state. The company was registered as Abad Cement Company Limited, and this company had three shareholders. The Abad Cement Company had 75% shares, and those state government had 15% shares, and 10% shares were reserved for other Nigerians. Oro went further to say, and I quote, although Edo State Government was given only 15% shares, 100% of the revenue invested in the company, $31 million, was taken from the account of Edo State Government. End of quote. In a nutshell, Oshomole is trying to tell Edo people that I built a cement factory for myself using Edo State funds. Oshomole's aim and that of his courts with this skewed information is to whip up sentiment as usual. Quite unfortunately, he no longer enjoys the sympathy of Edo people, even as his claim contains no altar of truth. I'm gladdened that in an attempt to cast aspersions on my person, Oshomole, through his aides, enumerated various industries I established while serving as governor of Edo State, but I challenge him to point to any industry or factory his administration has established for Edo people in the past seven years he has governed the states. He alleged that my administration built and sold below cost price the fruit juice factory and the solid mineral processing company at Eho and Ikbeshi respectively. My question here is, to what extent has his government developed the cassava factory at Urumi that was not sold? My effort at establishing industry while I served as governor was driven purely by the desire to provide job opportunities for our Timi unemployed youths. On the AVA cement company, for that is the true name of the company they are referring to, Oshomole claimed that I used Edo State's $31 million to execute the project to about 90%. And for his information commissioner, the $31 million amounted to 7 billion naira. I challenge Oshomole to send an evaluation team to the factory and let us see what their findings would be. 
As at 2006, when the AVA cement company project kicked off, the exchange rate for a dollar was about 100 naira per dollar, hence $31 billion then amounted to about 3 billion naira. So, if a Edo State government invested 3 billion naira for a project that gulped well over 20 billion naira, the question is, where did the balance 17 million naira come from? Oshomole and his commissioners will certainly not answer this question for fear of revealing the facts. The Chinese partners who have 75% shares in the company provided the funds. It beats my imagination that a former labor leader like Oshomole could believe that 3 billion naira would build a cement factory of that magnitude. I am not surprised though because he has not invested a dime in industries since coming to power in 2008 and as such wouldn't know the cost of establishing one. I make these few clarifications to set the records straight and to remind Oshomole not to take my dignified silence for cowardice. Moreover, the courts are open to him. Nigeria has gone past his stone age of sentencing people on the pages of newspapers. Signed, His Excellency Chief Lucky Nosakai Igbinidio, former governor of Edo State.